Hey girlfriends, welcome back to the channel for another video this week. If you're new here, my name is Jerry Micaiah, but all my friends call me G. And if you're a returning subscriber, thanks for coming back this week, girl, and clicking on my face. If you haven't already, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up, like, share, comment, subscribe. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, girl, for all of the fabulous updates, okay? And come back each week for weekly uploads. So today's video, we're gonna be doing an end of the year roundup of all of my purchases. I'm gonna share my most used, my best purchase, worst purchase, most unexpected expected purchases all of my purchases we're going to just do a roundup in this video uh this year i did not shop as much as i usually shop that was one thing on my list i wanted to be more intentional with my spending make sure i'm curating a timeless wardrobe and i feel like i'm at the place right now with shopping that i think i'm doing good i can love something and still not buy it i can love something and know i don't need it and this year i did such a great i did such a great job with shopping so i'm excited to share with you guys all of my purchases from 2023 so if you're interested my girl just keep watching all right so for the first category i'm going to start off with most used now these items are the items that i've been using down I am the girl that if I love something in my closet, I'm going to wear her out, okay? I will literally act like there's nothing else in the closet to wear. I'm going to constantly pick up this item and wear it a million and one different ways. And these are the items that I literally was just wearing out. Let's first start off with handbags. When it comes to handbags, y'all, this girl right here, I purchased her at the top of the year. I was on the hunt for a black um, Chanel flap bag with silver hardware now i wasn't a silver hardware girly but this year i feel like i was a little more open to having silver hardware and now i'm okay with it but when it comes to this bag y'all i also wanted a chanel bag that was so low maintenance i feel like chanel is just so prim and proper and the more i grow and my style elevates i just come to realize when it comes to the classic chanel flaps like the with the caviar or the lambskin it's just not for me i don't feel like it fits in my wardrobe and i wouldn't pull for that bag this bag right here literally just scratched my itch for the chanel flap now this is a bag this is a vintage bag it's from the 2007 carl lagerfeld collection i believe this is fall winter look at this bag are you seeing this is like this iridescent black bag with the gold, um, silver hardware what i also love about this bag i could wear it as a shoulder strap or i could drop it down and wear it as a crossbody now with the crossbody i am pushing it but i was wearing her out and i did wear it as a crossbody i love this bag when i tell y'all solo maintenance i've wasted stuff on this bag all i have to do is get a wet cloth and just wipe it and you can also still find this bag on the pre-love market always check fashion file if i can find this bag i'm gonna link it down below you can get this bag for a good 15 Undone. that is great for a chanel bag i'm going to even go as far as saying this was my most worn handbag this year i feel like it was a great investment it was a great piece to add to my um handbag collection and i would even go as far as saying i got my cost for wear from it because i wear this bag so much that i have to put it down to like wear other bags so this girl right here 10 out of 10 will highly recommend and i'm actually wearing her today with what i have on the next bag is also a most used handbag. I got this bag also at the top of the year. This year, when it comes to handbags, I promised myself that I wouldn't buy handbags that I like. I would only buy handbags that I absolutely love and bags that can be in my handbag collection for years and years to come. What I started to realize is with my handbag collection, I just was buying bags just because I could or I'm like, oh, that's cute and I'll just buy it. But I wasn't wearing the bag. So this year, I actually sold some bags and now the collection that I have, I'm probably probably thinking about getting rid of one more bag but overall with my collection I am so happy with the pieces that I have this year on my shopping radar my biggest focus was to get archive pieces pieces that was actually on my radar pieces that pieces that was actually on my luxury wish list archive wish list pieces that I knew I would have for years and years to come and this girl right here has been on my radar for years now with this bag I always come across this bag but the condition of the bag anytime I'm buying a pre-love handbag i need it to be in either pristine condition or excellent condition i'm not buying nothing else i don't buy fair i don't buy good i need it to be pristine or excellent and this bag y'all when i tell you pristine condition any type of marks this bag has it's because of me i love this little bag this right here is 
what I call fashion art. This is something that I can have in my collection years and years and years. It's, it, it's timeless, it's ageless. It's like something that, I don't think I ever have to worry about getting tired of this bag because every time I pick this bag up, it just adds the perfect amount of zhuzh to any look I'm trying to zhuzh up. So when it comes to this bag, 10 out of 10 also will highly recommend. I'm also thinking about adding one more to my collection. Now I did get this one in the box leather. So it's like this smooth leather. What I can't say about this bag, the wear and tear on this bag, she's a very delicate girly, okay? I'm talking about, even when I'm traveling with it, this is like the worst bag to travel with. I literally had to buy bubble wrap to uh, travel with this bag and like bubble wrap it because any little ding, this bag is gonna show it because the leather on this bag is just so smooth. It does not hold a lot, but she is definitely a piece of art. So like I said, I'm thinking about adding one more. I think I wanna get like a metallic silver or gold, but this girly right here, she, she's that girl. This year I was thinking about getting the Saint Laurent lunchbox bag. I passed on it and I'm so happy I did because the more I see the bag, I don't like the bag. So I got this one instead and I absolutely love it and I wore it out this year. All right, so next I have a pair of sunglasses and when it comes to sunglasses, you guys know I love sunglasses. My collection is growing. I also um, purged a little this year so I can add sunglasses that I would actually wear and not just collect them. So now all of my sunglasses, I actually wear them. But this year, y'all, I wore these so much. I was picking these glasses over everything. These are a pair of glasses that I got from a subscriber, Coco McQueen. She sent me these glasses last year. I broke them, she resent them to me. This is my favorite pair of glasses besides my Fendi Havana glasses, baby. This right here, I'm gonna pick her every single time. I don't go anywhere without these glasses. They're so elegant, so chic, and every time I wear them, people literally stop me asking me where do I get these glasses from. They, I love the shape of, oh, let me try them on. I love the shape of these glasses, and they just, do you see this? They're good, right? Yes, they are. This is why I could not, not wear them. This is the pair of sunglasses that I literally do not feel like I would ever get rid of. I love these so much that when I broke them, something told me it's time for me to order another pair just in case I lose or break these because these are hands down my best glasses. No matter where I'm going, whether I'm going for a walk, I'm going to the gym, I'm going to the airport, I'm going out to eat, I'm going to lunch, I don't care. These are gonna be in my bag or they're gonna be in a car. Because I love these things, y'all. They're so sleek and just, that girl. So if I can, I'm gonna link them down below, but these are the only sunglasses that I feel like I was reaching for the most, probably since she sent them to me, so the past two years. Okay, so let's move into jewelry. This year, I did not add any more jewelry to my collection. I didn't buy any fine jewelry. I didn't buy any costume jewelry, fashion jewelry. I didn't add anything because I'm sitting with the collection trying to see what I need and what I want. But when it comes to getting dressed, no matter where I go, I'm gonna have on an Hermes cuff, okay? I love an Hermes cuff. I love any type of cuff, but I feel like the Hermes cuff is just so me. They're fun. They're a little gaudy, but they're fabulous and they're fashionable. I love me a good Hermes cuff. I did not add any to my collection this year, but anytime I'm getting dressed, whether I'm more dressy, I'll put on like an extra wide. But if I'm a little dressed down, I'll definitely add like a thinner band or the, um, I believe it's the narrow. I love a good Hermes cuff and I feel like every time I make these videos, the Hermes cuff is literally going to be on the most used item and I will always recommend this um, item because I feel like the Hermes cuff is timeless, it's fashionable and it just gives you like a little more zhuzh. Like, look, do you see her? Just like sitting cute. It just makes me feel so fabulous. Like I love me a good cuff. Now if you're not a cuff girl, I don't feel like an Hermes cuff will work for you because it's it's a cuff and they do have like a little weight on it. But girl, when it comes to the Hermes cuff, most used item when it comes to jewelry, like hands down. Sticking to jewelry, this year I really wanted to invest in my fine jewelry collection. I did not pick up any pieces because every time I would go to pick up something, I just didn't love it. And when it comes to Van Cleef, I think I am just okay right now with the dupes that I pick up from TJ Maxx. People are always asking me, where do I get my dupes from for the Van Cleef um, necklaces? I do pick them up from TJ Maxx. Now, when it comes to the Van Cleef bracelets, I personally don't like the dupes. If I was going to go that route I will want to go ahead and get a Van Cleef um, bracelet this year I went in the store yeah I feel like I've been to Van Cleef a million and one times this year that's another reason why I know I don't love the brand enough to invest in it the way the other girlies love it every time I would go in it's just it just it, it didn't do it for me I wasn't like oh my 
my god i need this i didn't feel that way maybe i just haven't found a, a piece or an item from the brand that i just absolutely love they do have like a butterfly collection but i didn't buy anything so this year when it comes to van cleef i was going to get um the five motif bracelet and i was going to get the black uh ella hombre necklace and the the um, mother of pearl I'm still on the fence about the necklaces. When it comes to the dupe, y'all, I can't lie. The dupes be duping, and I'm okay right now with my dupes, okay? I think I spent a good $20 on a dupe, and I love the dupes. Now, don't get me wrong. There is a quality difference. So the more I wear these necklaces, you're going to see the wear and tear on them. So this year, I'm thinking about going ahead and um, purchase the black um what is the Ella Hombre necklace? Because when it comes to my dupe, y'all, I dupe her out. So on my most used necklace this year, is definitely gonna be my dupe to the um, Van Cleef necklaces, the Ella Hombre necklaces. Oh my God, when I tell y'all, anytime I'm getting dressed, whether I'm going run errands, I wear that thing to the gym, it's so cute, okay? That's the reason why I was like, okay, I need to go ahead and pull a trigger, but I'm so happy I duped it and I didn't just force myself to buy it because I've come to realize, I was over Originally, I was going to get the Mother of Pearl um, El Alhambra necklace. I love the black one. I don't know the name of it. I don't know if it's Onyx. I don't, I'm not sure. I'm not familiar, okay? But when it comes to the black El Alhambra um, Van Cleef necklace, I love that dupe. So I'm happy I duped it first because now I know 2024, I'm definitely going to buy the black um, necklace. I'm not going to buy the, um, the Mother of Pearl. I was only getting the Mother of Pearl because that's my birthstone, but I like the black one better. When I tell y'all, I be like, oh girl, you look cute. I could just have on some workout clothes and you put on that little necklace. It's like so dainty. And this year I just became a little more in love with dainty jewelry. Most of the jewelry I have is a little more gaudy, a little more chunky statement pieces. But for on an everyday basis, I definitely want my fine jewelry collection to be more of a soft, dainty vibe. So most used necklace this year was definitely my black um, dupe to the Van Cleef Alhambra necklace. All right, so let's move into shoes. When it comes to shoes, I feel like there's two pair of shoes that I wear the absolute most. But this year, it's, it's usually my um, Hermes Aran sandal. But for some reason, by the end of the year, y'all, I'd be like, what did you wear this year? I don't remember. <laughs> but the only shoe that stood out the most, and I feel like I wore this shoe out, is the Sam Edelman Jackson sneakers. I got them in silver and I got them in gold. I told you guys to get these shoes. These shoes are sickening. If you wanted like a pair of golden goose, I feel like this would be a great dupe. These shoes are sold out at this point. You could probably find them. So if I can, they will be links, y'all. I wore these shoes out especially the gold oh my god they're so cute on the feet they're so dainty but they're fashionable and they're just comfortable anytime i'm going to new york i'm gonna pick up um this sneaker like i said i have it in gold and i have it in silver i don't travel anywhere without these shoes I hands down the most used shoe in my own um, collection this year besides my air mask around sandal because y'all know that's my shoe baby i'm gonna pull that shoe out you give me a little just a little heat <laughs> them white toes that anklet and a pair of air mask sandals they're gonna be on so let's move into clothes. Now the next item, I don't feel like you guys are going to be surprised. It is going to be my Prada Re-Nylon Shorts. When it comes to the Prada Shorts, y'all, I feel like every year I'm saying this too, I wear those shorts out, okay? It's just so easy to dress those up. I always look put together. I love the fact that they're nylon so I don't have to worry about them because they're very expensive. So by them being nylon, I don't have to worry about something wasting on them or feeling like I have to baby them. I could just put them things on and go. Whether I'm going to get my nails done and run errands or if I want to be a little more dressed up and like wear them with something like to lunch or during the daytime, those shorts y'all hands down hands down the number one clothing item that I pulled for this year. I feel like it's like every year. That's like the number one um, clothing item that I pulled for every year since I purchased them in 2021. These shorts are just like, I don't even put them away in the winter. Right now, they're literally still hung up in the closet because here in New Orleans, it don't get that cold. So I could get away with wearing them all year round. It's just kind of like the piece that I know I want to look put together today, whether I have on an oversized t-shirt or a hoodie or a sweater. If I put on my Prada shorts, it's just going to give you that little um, extra zhuzh on a casual day. So I don't look like I'm just wearing a regular pair of shorts because by them being nylon, they do have, with a little Prada um, logo on them, they do give it a little more more 
elevated basic vibe girl I'm always gonna reach for the Prada shorts. So definitely a piece of clothing that I'm always reaching for. Next in the clothing category, I have these Riona t-shirts. When it comes to Riona, y'all, I love the brand. When I tell you it's black owned, the quality is top tier. I have yet to find a brand that topped the quality of Riona pieces. I love the fact that these pieces are double lined so they're super thick and stretchy and luscious. Every time I put this on, it just gives me like I look put together I look like a baddie okay and they sent you I love these tops now I do have them in long sleeve and a short sleeve this year I feel like I wear the um I wore the the short sleeves more than the long sleeve because these tops I will highly recommend I believe they're in production on the website I also believe these tops are very popular on the site I have the brown and I have the black girl 10 out of 10 recommend and this year my favorite combo when I want to look put together and I'm not trying too hard I'll put on here here we go I will put on the Riona uh, top those black glasses that I just showed out showed y'all the Prada shorts Chanel bag and a pair of Air Max Live and I look so put together I'm out the door I don't care where I'm where I'm going whether I'm going to lunch with a friend I need to run errands or I have to be somewhere quick if I want to look put together that's like my uniform and that was especially in the summertime baby that is the unity form, okay? So the last item on my most use is definitely gonna be this green, high, low, cotton IJ dress. Oh my God, I was on the hunt y'all for this dress for years and I finally picked it up this year. When it first dropped, I feel like I was being cheap, didn't wanna pay the full price for it, but I saw it this year and I was like, no, I have to jump on it. Baby, when I tell y'all I love this dress, I wore this dress so much this year, so many different ways. I wore it with slides, I wore it with heels, I wore it with sneakers, I wore it with shorts. This dress, I wore it at the top. It was just like the piece that was missing in my closet okay I love this dress so much I, I will also say this was my most styled piece because this year I styled this thing so many ways it got to the point where anytime I would wear this dress I had to stop posting on my story or Instagram because I was like okay I definitely just wore this dress last week and I got it on again so easy so fabulous and I love a piece that would just elevate my look without me trying yeah hands down the uh, most used, a uh, most styled piece in my um, my wardrobe this year. All right, so let's move into the next category, and the next category is going to be least used items. Right now on my list, I only have sneakers, but as I sit here talking to y'all, some other pieces are coming up. Right now, when it comes to sneakers, each year I will only allow myself one pair of designer sneakers, and this year I didn't buy any. The only sneakers I added to my collection was the Sam Edelman sneakers, and I wore them out. When it comes to designer sneakers, even 2024, I'm not allowing myself to buy any because I feel like I don't wear the ones in my closet. So I need to wear those, and then maybe 2025, we could talk about buying more sneakers. But right now, I'm not adding any more sneakers to my collection because I'm not wearing them at all I like showing my toes okay so anytime they have to be closed up it's like mm, I, I rather not so at this point I rather not spend no more money on sneakers because you're not wearing them now moving into handbags I feel like my least used handbag is probably the Dior oh yeah I'm pointing but y'all can't see it the Dior saddlebag I need to start wearing that bag because she's like my baby and I feel like I baby her I just look at her I wear her to like dinner or somewhere like that but I don't like wearing her because that is like that was my dream bag I told you I think I've been wanting that bag since I, I was like between I was eight or ten I can't remember the age but I remember seeing this bag wanting this bag got the bag in pristine condition I'm talking about everything I wanted in this bag. I got it down to the interior. So now it's like she just sit there on display. But 2024, I definitely need to wear this handbag. Okay, so those are the two things that I feel like was least used in my closet. Everything else, they kind of like get a little love here and there. But the sneakers in my closet and that Dior bag, they didn't see the light of day. Now let's move into best purchases of 2023. First of all, I feel like I cannot talk about the best purchases without talking about my filming equipment. This year, I decided to take my spring, summer wardrobe budget, the money that I would like usually 
buy clothes, shoes, accessories, you know, just zhuzh up the um the wardrobe. I decided to hold off on shopping during like the spring summertime and I invested in my filming equipment and when I tell y'all that was the best decision I made this year. Now making this purchase for the camera, I got a new camera right now I'm filming on the the camera that I purchased, the uh, Canon R6. I got uh, two new lenses, I got lighting, everything. It was so pricey, y'all, so I was a little nervous. But when I tell y'all, the best decision I have made thus year. Like, I am so pleased with the uh, quality of the camera. I'm pleased with all of the lenses. I love the fact that this year, I stepped out of my comfort zone to learn a new thing. Like, I wanted to, change the quality of my camera. I wanted to see, okay, why do I need this lens? Or can I use this camera for reels on Instagram? I needed a camera that can do all things. This camera is amazing. Now she's pricey. Now with the, I think with the tax and all of the protections I got on it, she was $3,000. And I was just like, oh my God, that is a lot, okay? And on top of that, I added two new lenses lenses if you if you know they're pricey but when I tell y'all I'm so happy that I invested in my equipment I feel like the money I spent on the equipment I made that back at least five times plus okay so invest in yourself okay don't be scared jump out on um off the porch girl and do it especially if you're a consistent girly invest in yourself I promise you you will not be disappointed so next up on my best purchases of 2023 is definitely going to be my Ajay Raffia dresses I got them in all colors I love that dress to pieces and when I got it in all colors I got so many comments and dms and people just saying I don't think you need all three they're just mm -mm. Mm, you, you could one is enough why do you need all three I first of all I love the dresses myself of course I can't wear them every day but anytime I need to go somewhere I feel like that dress was just the perfect amount of zhuzh and fashions and all of the thing I love the um IJ Raffia dress but I would definitely say this was my best fashion purchase because not only did I get all three and make my money back but I made the money back time soon okay so this year one of my friends reached out to me she works on a movie set and there was like shooting a pilot and they were actually looking for the IJ Raffia dress they could not find this dress this dress was sold out and on TikTok so many people was asking me could they rent out my dress and I'm like absolutely not so one of my friends reached out she was like hey I know you probably don't want to do this but could you please let me borrow the three dresses for set just to see which one they're going to use and you know send us an invoice so basically I rented out these dresses and made the money back so the dresses paid for themselves and I, I still had a little extra money to play with to buy some more RJ pieces. I said, oh, I like this. I didn't know that dress was gonna be as popular as it was, especially around the spring. They, I got so many people, y'all, DMing me and emailing me, asking me to rent out these dresses because they were going to a wedding or they were going to some type of uh, outdoor I think polo match it was so much going on and I just will never do it but I lent it out to my friend and I'm so happy I did because not only did I get my money back but I got a little extra and the dresses did come back in perfect condition so this was definitely a great investment for me so pat on the uh back G I don't care which I'll be talking about some G you don't need all three yes I do I did now the last item on my best purchases of 2023 is definitely going to be these Mules, y'all, I picked these up a month ago. No, wait, not even a month ago. I picked them up three weeks ago. And I'm, oh yes, I know this is a little far-fetched, but I'm definitely gonna go ahead and jump off the porch and say this is an amazing purchase, okay? So it's gonna be these Gucci Mules. I have been on the hunt for these shoes since they dropped and, hold on. I've been on a hunt for them since they dropped. I could never find them to try them on. They were either sold out, they didn't have my size, and every time I'm in New York, I always forget about them. So I was in New York at the beginning of the month. I'm gonna put them on the screen. I was on um, in New York at the beginning of the month, and me and my grandma went to Macy's, and I'm like, oh, let's go see if they have the shoes. So I'm just looking. I'm like, Danny, don't have them. And the guy was like, what are you looking for? And I told him, and when he told me he had them in stock, girl, as soon as I put my um, foot in them, I knew, I said, oh yeah, you can wrap them up and take them. Baby, these shoes, they don't know what the box look like, because ever since I uh, purchased them, I wear them out. Now with these shoes, 
Hold on. They, as you can see, they have like a crease in here. Well, here. These shoes do crease, but I don't mind them because I feel like when I put them on, by them having like the Gucci Supreme um, canvas, you don't really notice the creasing. And I'm so mad that I wear these every single day because I'm like, Journey, you are gonna wear them out. You, they're, they're not gonna last long because you're wearing them too much. Y'all, I wear these things out okay i'm talking about i don't even put them in the box i leave them at my front door so if you are thinking about these shoes i would just say don't think about them because i was also told these are about to go out of production i know they just dropped this year but they're about to take these out of production so they can put the new gucci's um creative director his pieces his or her i'm not sure if it's a man or woman they're going to put the new creative director's um pieces in production so anything that the previous creative director had out they're going to um stop the production on it so if you are looking to get these shoes i would definitely say hop on it okay i would definitely recommend these they retail for like 6.90 i know that may be a lot for mules but y'all this is a good shoe somebody told me when i first uh, purchased them i don't think you'll be able to wear them with a lot of things and i said watch me and when i say that i said that with my whole chest and i wear these every day i know i sound like i'm um over exaggerating no 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 no, no. i wear them every day so moving into the next category, I'm going to move into worst purchases of 2023. Now, listen, I'm proud of this category. I know that sounds crazy. I'm proud because y'all only have one item. That is amazing, okay? I'm telling y'all, shopping intentionally will save you a coin, okay? So this year, I was so thirsty. When I tell y'all thirsty, I'm talking about like dehydrated, dying, okay? I wanted the Saint Laurent 5, 4, 5, five four five sunglasses so bad i just knew these were gonna be it i don't like them i don't like these glasses i feel like they just don't fit me it's just something is just not clicking oh wait a minute now hold up do they look good with this hair hmm anyways i believe i need to look in the mirror again i believe i don't like these I was so thirsty to get them. I found them. They were sold out on the Saint Laurent website. They came back. I believe I found these on eBay for like a hundred dollars. <sighs> I be forcing myself to wear these glasses, y'all, but I don't like them. I think it's time to get rid of them because I was. That's what. That's what happens when you're thirsty. Don't ever be too thirsty for nothing because you just might get what you ask for, and you gonna be like, well, what the hell? This what I was. This what I was waiting for. This what I was on a hunt for this, looking high and low, everything sold out, and I'm going through hell and high waters for this? I don't feel like they fit me. I don't feel like they look good on me. I low-key wish the lenses were a little more tinted. It's giving, like, transparent, and I don't know. I don't like them. So this was the only purchase I regret this year, or I would say a worst purchase, because I got an L. So I take it. Oh, 2024, I believe I'm going to get rid of these. And I'm not going to be thirsty no more because being thirsty is just not cute, okay? It's not cute. This is $100 I could have uh, spent on food. So moving into the last category, and it is going to be the most surprising purchases of 2023. The first item I have on this list is this Ajay top that y'all, I have been on a hunt for for years. When it comes to Ajay, it is definitely one of my favorite contemporary brands. And I believe when the top dropped, I don't know what I was thinking. I did not purchase it. So, oh my God, I have been every year, y'all, just looking on the pre-love market for it. And this year was the year that I was able to get all three colors that i wanted i got it in white i got it in blush and i got it in black <laughs> i love that for me okay and it's like i forgot the name of it i want to say it's the impressions top it's like this beautiful off the shoulder top it is so gorgeous this is a piece that i know i would never part ways with this like this year as my style was growing and evolving i started to realize what i like and what i didn't like i love a voluminous moment but i also realized i don't like ruffles and off the shoulder y'all know i love showing me a little <laughs> baby the back the shoulders and the legs underrated ladies <laughs> give them a little slither Oh, this top is so sexy and it has like all this volume. It is gorgeous. So this year I was so surprised. Not only did I get the colors I want, I got all three colors I want, okay? The fashion gods were on my side. Next on the list, I have the pink, hot pink Amy. Um, I believe I'm pronouncing it right. A-M-I, Amy. Um, wool 
cardigan i have been on a hunt for this cardigan y'all far fetch be playing in my face when i was in new york i would always go into the store and they'd be like no we no longer carry that uh color anymore you can only find it on far fetch and i'm just like far fetch was playing in my face okay and i i don't like that until i got an email saying that the sweater was back in stock Oh, baby, I hopped on it, okay? Y'all, when I tell y'all I love this sweater, I think this sweater is just so cute. I'm also not a pink girl, but this sweater is sickening. I love the detailing. I love the um, extra large heart, and I love the pink. Now, I've also realized I don't think I'm a wool girl because this sweater can get a little itchy depending on what you wear underneath. But I can't lie, I was very surprised to get this sweater this year because I gave up on it. I didn't think I would find it. And anytime I would come across the sweater pre-love, it just looks, it looked run down. So I was like, I'd rather just pay um, full price and get it brand new and <laughs> good things come to the girlies that wait because guess who got it? me next on the list i got a balenciaga windbreaker i have been on a hunt for the perfect balenciaga or windbreaker now there's so, a million and one balenciaga windbreakers but i had a specific colorway in mind i wanted that um that neon yellow i believe it's black and white i think that jacket is sickening okay and i could never find my size or find it at a price that i'm willing to pay for it and this year i paid got the price that i wanted i think i got it for like 200 dollars consigned um the size everything was perfect i love this thing like, it is perfect for like a good little streetwear moment or if i'm just trying to be like on some chill stuff but you still put it on oh i love this one breaker it's so cute okay with some black all black sunglasses she is the vibe okay especially when i'm going to like the airport and you know the airport you want to put it on you want to look cute airport outfits matter girl and this it's just like that piece that i just throw on and i'm just like oh i feel like i'm giving a fashion girl moment so i'm surprised to get it because I, this is another item that i feel like I've been looking for it for so long that I low-key gave up. I was like, okay, girl, whatever. But when I saw it for 200 I said, oh, no, we need to get up. Next item on the list is going to be this red caviar Chanel Timeless Vanity. This is a vintage bag. I have been on the hunt. Baby, when I'm telling you the hunt, I'm talking about high and low, looking, searching for the red. Because y'all know I have this one in black. Oh, you can't see it, but I have this in black. I have been on the hunt for the red, y'all. I just thought this bag, originally I wanted the red before I even saw the black. I think this bag is just sickening. It's so gorgeous, okay? This is the definition of a timeless piece. I would never part ways with this one or the black one. They're just timeless in my collection. When I found the red in pristine condition, I did pick this bag up from Rebag. I was so nervous because the description did not match the bag. They basically said this bag was going to be a mess. When I opened the packaging, y'all, and I saw this bag, I was like, uh, I think somebody messed up on the description because they also discounted the bag. I'm talking about way low, 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 low. They discounted this thing down so much that I was a little nervous to buy it because I was like, okay, I was expecting this bag to just be run down, but I still took a, a chance on it because they did have a um, option for me to return it if I get it and didn't like it. Girl, when I opened that bag and saw, uh, opened the box and saw the bag. I was lost for words, y'all. So, I am very surprised to have this girl in my collection. And this right here is when I say I want um, a handbag collection that I'm excited. Every time I see the bag, I get excited and I have a story behind it. That's the type of collection I want. And I'm excited to say that I'm building that collection. As I was um, letting some bags go that I just didn't need anymore, now when I look at my collection, I'm like, oh, I just, I love my babies. Okay? So happy to have this one next handbag is definitely going to be the Givenchy Antigona I have been on the hunt for this specific bag in this color every time I would go into the store I would try to describe the bag with a color but they would never understand what I was talking about they were like oh I don't know what you're talking about they would always show me like a brown bag and i'm like no that's not it i originally saw this bag when i was in new york but it was in the size small i wanted the mini because the small was just a little too large and i feel like the mini is the perfect size this is a mini it has a crossbody strap all of the things and y'all when this bag came available i almost passed on it because they 
on the website they said this was a small and I was like I don't want a small but when I started looking at the pictures the pictures did not match the description baby you need to read the description okay read the description because you will miss out on the things I was reading the description and one thing about the Givenchy Antigona I know the difference between the small and the mini because I have both the mini has a different strap than the small and on this bag I said wait the sizing is not matching the small the strap is not matching I said that's a mini I pulled the trigger, y'all, and when I got this bag, I said, oh, my God. The fashion guys, y'all, they love me. I'm, I'm their fave, okay? You better ask somebody. I'm the fave, okay? So, I was so surprised to get this because when I saw it in New York, I was obsessed with it, the color, everything. I feel like this bag just fits perfect in my collection, and it was missing. I don't have any bags that doesn't have, like, um, a neutral bag that doesn't have monogram, and it's not, like, flashy. This is perfect, and look at this. Do you see this? This is like a cute little fall combo, okay? Like, get into it. So, so happy, but also very surprised to get this girl. So the last item on this list, the last item for this video, when I tell y'all I'm so surprised because I'm like, wait, I did not see this coming, y'all. So if, for those of you who watch my vlogs, you guys know I have been doing 12 days of manifesting and on day one, I was like, okay, I want a new car. By day 10, Y'all, I got a new car. I did not plan for this. This was not in the works. This was not on my vision board for this year. I did plan on getting a car 2024. I did not plan on getting a car right now, y'all. So I remember one day I was like, okay, God, you told me to go big, so I'm about to manifest this car. I'm just, I'm saying it out loud, but I didn't see it just coming. Y'all, I got a new car. Beep, beep, I got a new car. I'm just like, I'm still lost for words, okay? Because down to the interior, the color, the um, make, the model, the rims, the wheels, everything that I wanted, I got, got it. But I did pray on it, so I'm not just giving home all my credit to manifesting it but i prayed on it and i was manifesting it and i'm just like i'm still lost of words y'all so yeah g got a new car okay and i'm still surprised this is probably the most surprising um purchase of 2023 so yeah so i'm gonna just say this if you have not started manifesting you should do definitely do 12 days of manifesting put it in the atmosphere you don't know what could happen okay and i always say y'all don't know what can happen the the year's not over so many people just treat 2023 like it's just done god showed me no i'm, I'm not done with 2023 yet i still have things for you i got a car and then other things start happening in motion and i'm just like y'all i'm gonna just say this the manifestation is working okay all right, girlfriends, so that is all that I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is actually going to be my last fashion video or fashion content of 2023. I appreciate you guys so much for supporting me this year, watching my videos, engaging. I really, really, really appreciate all of the girlfriends for supporting me and yes this is this is it this is the last fashion video of 2023 i look forward to giving you guys more fabulous fashionable content in 2024 and i am wishing you guys nothing but love life joy and light so if you enjoyed this video my girl go ahead give it a big thumbs up and i will see you girls in the next one